Hey, what is up, everyone? It's your boy Nino Blur here, and today we are back on the latest news on Ninjala. So basically, we've gotten a little article. So this article was about how the devs were working, were planning on the game, how long they were planning on the game, and it seems like they were planning, they were planning this game for five years. This was before Splatoon was announced and released. So this is interesting article they also describe the mechanics the story and how to play the game basically the objective of the game so if you guys want to check this out uh i will link the article in the link description below so you guys can check out the article for yourselves and uh yeah this is going to be very very interesting uh, i really recommend it but um i won't be uh talking about the article again i think i said that twice but hey I don't know. <laughs> My editing is so horrible. Anyways, um, we are going to be talking about the objective of the game to those who are uh, who are not familiar with the objective, and um, we are also going to be describing the uh, mechanics of the game. Uh, so yeah, For to let everybody know, if you guys are interested in Ninjala and a Ninjala community, please join the Ninjala Amino. So yes, I created my own Ninjala Amino, and please join the Discord uh, community server, so yeah, you guys can share your opinions. Alright, so let's go with the mechanics. Alright guys, so for the first mechanics we use in the game is the gum. You can use the gum by blowing the gum to get weapons. The smaller the gum, the more smaller the weapon, and the more bigger the, big, the, the, bigger the gum, the bigger the weapon. Okay, so, um, you are also able to shoot the gum to stick up opponents and then form, from there, you can whack them and get a KO. When you have your gum blown up, you're able to run up to walls. Alright, so basically, you can only run up to walls if you have your gun, blah, gum blown up, okay? I'm sorry for making too many mistakes, but hey, it happens. Alright guys, so, so let's start with the weapons. Bats, yo-yos, hammers, and skateboards. Obviously, if the weapon is small, you swing the weapon faster, and if the weapon is bigger, the weapon is slower to swing. You can also use the weapons to reflect upcoming gum shots back at the opponents. So just in case if you guys didn't know, if someone has their gum blown up, you can attack them and they will stick on the ground and you're able to get a KO. Or you're able to hit them multiple times. So, yes, that's actually a thing. Also, I don't think all weapons are able to reflect upcoming gum shots, so we'll have to wait until release. Another mechanic, dash. We don't know the use for it, but here's a little theory. This mechanic may be used to dodge upcoming attacks. You're also able to quick dash to other buildings. Yeah, so just in case you guys uh, don't know, do you guys know this little dash where you just do like a little short dash? Um, we don't know the use for that. Uh, it may be uh, used like in a trailer. So, um, yes, uh, we'll have to see what that is all about in a release. And finally, the Ippin. The Ippin is a special ability. If you blow a bigger bubble, you can make a weapon that can Ippin someone out in one shot. If you attack lots, your ga your gauge will build, and you can use special powers, which vary depending on the weapon. So basically, it's the the special ability that they have in Injala is kind of similar to Splatoon, uh, to where like you have a little uh, gauge, you have to like level up in order to like uh, use the special ability. So yes, this is actually pretty good if you're trying to defend yourself. <laughs> yes, I believe that is it. This video is mainly about the mechanics of the game in depth. Um, so uh, yes, and I did read all of this from the current um uh, Ninjala Amino. So uh, yes, I recommend check it out. Uh, check out Ninjala Amino if you're interested in Ninjala. Um, I will put that in the link description below, and also I will put that in uh the Discord server in the link description below. So, yeah. So, next topic. Uh, we have another topic to talk about. 
why isn't Ninjala being talked about? That is an interesting question. Now, I believe Ninjala is not being talked about because of the look of the game. It looks so, it looks so much like Splatoon. Like, it just looks like a Splatoon ripoff. And really, it's not a ripoff. It looks like a, its own game entirely. You know, it's entirely new. But it's not a ripoff. Some people say that it's a mix of Splatoon and ARMS. I agree with that. But it's not a ripoff. If you're talking about a Splatoon ripoff, I suggest that you're talking about uh, Sepia Go, a Chinese ripoff of Splatoon. But Ninjala is a totally, totally new different game. It's not Splatoon. It's not a ripoff. I'd say that this is pretty much a rival of Splatoon. You know, I think of it as like Mario versus Sonic. You know, Sonic. Uh, was after Mario, and you know, people didn't call that a ripoff, but uh, I believe that Ninjala is basically rivaling Splatoon, and I can actually see that. No, I'm not trying to bash Splatoon fans, and I'm a Splatoon fan myself, you know, but I'm just saying that, you know, Ninjala possibly could be rivaling Splatoon, and I would actually like that to happen. That would actually be something new, it could be like a new. Mario versus Sonic, you know, that it can be like Ninjala versus Splatoon, like just imagine that, you know, imagine an inkling duking it, duking it out with Bereka, you know, that would be something, a dream come true, basically, that would be something new, you know, uh, Gum Ninjas versus Inkling, Squid Kids, you know, that, that would be freaking awesome, but hey, man, this is, this is actually pretty cool. Yes, but I believe, you know, when the game comes out, uh, Splatoon fans will, uh, you know, everybody will change their minds and, you know, get a good perspective of the game and say, oh, you know, this is what the game is about. And stop saying that, oh, you know, it's a ripoff and stuff. You know, just because it looks similar to Splatoon and it plays similar, it doesn't mean it's a ripoff, you know? If you're talking about a ripoff, you, you mean Sepia Go, a Chinese ripoff of Splatoon. But yes, uh, we are actually reading part of the article. Uh, someone asks, what can you tell us about the action in the game? So uh, Morishita uh, explains the action of the game. So yes, let's go and read up. The eight players can compete using weapons such as sticks and hammers made by inflating the ninja gun. You can damage each other and get points or also do an impen. And the person with the most points wins. It's simple, really. There are other ways to gain points, but the Ippin is the main one. Chewing gum, making weapons, dashing, and so on. The gum is really the key. Yes, there is another way you can get points by uh, destroying robots. So if you destroy these enemies, if you destroy these uh, robotic-like enemies, you'll be able to gain points as you move on forward. No one else seems to have noticed. Um, in a demo, so, uh, yes, I announced it, and I believe that's it, that is all we know, uh, information on the game, um, but yes, I would love to, um, do, like, a little, uh, short little small pitch here of things I would love to see in the, uh, in Ninjala, uh, first is a team battle mode, yes, we need a team battle mode, uh, like Splatoon, basically, so you guys know where I'm going with this. Um, a team battle mode would be very amazing. And a 1v1 mode, we definitely need a 1v1 mode. That would be intense, intense fighting all over the place, teleporting from one building to another building, like, just imagine that. That would be so freaking hype, bro. That would be like some Naruto Battle Royale type stuff. Um... And what other mode would I like to see? Uh, if we're speedrunning the story mode, if, if, the, if the story mode is that fast, uh, I would love to see a speedrunning uh, type uh, thing. To where, like, you're able to, like, kind of like Sonic Generations, to where, like, you're able to, um, 
like do time trials like uh see how fast you can go from here to here and stuff like that that would be amazing and yes guys you guys know that i'm all about that speed i'm all about that speed guys like i'm just a speedster when it comes to uh splatoon smash sonic well even though i don't even play sonic but <laughs> yes guys you guys know that i'm all about that speed so, um, yes, I believe that is it. Um, if you guys want more uh, Ninjala content, uh, please go to the Ninjala Amino and uh, join. Please join the Discord community because that would be amazing. And, uh, yes, we really need more, uh, uh, more members. And we also need some more leaders. Uh, let, let's see who can be a good leader. Um... But, uh, yes, uh, if you guys have people who are interested in Ninjala, please remind them to join Ninjala Amino and the Ninjala Discord community. Like, you can share your art, um, the game hasn't come out yet, but when it comes out, there will be more people, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it'll be very amazing, guys. So, you know, hopefully people are going to talk about Ninjala more, because, you know, it, it really hasn't been talked about, you know. Only, like, some people have talked about it, like Nintendo Prime, um, you know, a uh, Spanish user, I'm not sure what his name is. Yes, but, I mean, if you literally go and type in Ninjala, you will barely find anything, anything new about Ninjala. Like, you will see barely anything, like nothing you know well you'll see some stuff but that's only from like three two weeks ago but i'm talking about now like you'll rarely see anything but um yes guys i believe that is it um just please like people has to have to talk about this game like i feel like this game is going to be very very interesting oh and also the stage we have is a New York, uh, Tokyo, Japan-like stage. It looks like New Donk City, I'm not gonna lie, but, bro, we need more information. Come on, devs, please give us more, uh, information, gung-ho, please. We need more information, because I'm very interested in this game. And especially the competitive scene, um, please make this game competitive. This game is gonna be very freaking interesting once I jump over it. But Yes, guys, I believe that is it. Um, please join the Jala Amino, the Jala Discord community if you guys are interested. You can post your little art, uh, you can share news and stuff. It would be very interesting. So, um, yes, I believe that is it. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Stay ninja, if if that makes any sense. All right, guys, I'm gonna disappear. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was cringy, but hey, catch you guys next time.